Hi everyone around the world, welcome to Well Angel Show. My name is Well Angel, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. And if it's your first time watching me, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and press that notification button. I am showing you Sutherland. And the best thing about Sutherland is that it has, dun dun dun, can you think? It has the glazing stars. You can only find it's nowhere else here in South Africa, but in Sutherland. I'm coming here from Lanesburg. It's as you can see, but you can't see it right now because it was a long drive. So just follow me and I'll take you there. It will be fantastic. Wonderific. I made that word up myself, so don't go looking for it in the dictionary. <laughs> It's a long journey. I'm just taking a break after the long, long ride. So it's still a long journey. I'm just taking a break, stretching to go see the girl, and then just gonna keep going. Just gonna take a break. And it's so quiet around here. Now my break is, you can see the leaves, it's so wonderful. The leaves is so weird, I've never seen before, can you see? So now I'm just going to go back to the car. And then we can continue our journey. But I am still full of excitement. Let's continue. Now I've already finally made it here. I am so, so, so excited because it's awesome. And it says here, welcome to Sutherland. And I just need to find, all I need to do now is find the tour guide so he can show me around how Sutherland is and that I'll show you how to get a ticket. So just follow me and I'll show you. Now I'm finally here and I'm so, so excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm almost forgetting my line. So, um, you can see here the blazing stars we are going to see tonight. And you can see it here. So I'm just going to show you, take you to the office. So I will show you how to book a ticket and how much the money costs and how much you got for change. So you can see also here it says Sutherland. You have freshly ground coffee, so just follow me and I'll take you in. So when you get in, you have to put on your mask. So I really, really want you guys to come here because it's a very wonderful place. So you can come with friends, families, whoever you have, it's wonderful. So don't forget to come, check where it is, see the land. Hello. Hi, ma'am. So um, I'm here to see the glazing stars 
and I want to find a tour guide so I don't know where to find the tour guide because I've never been here before and I also want to pay for tickets to see the glazing stars. The star glazing. Star glazing. We do it every hour. It's 40 to 45 minutes. It's all stuff about blenders, legos, supernova, stuff like that. And it's 80 rand per person. And under 12 is per person. Tonight, it's just at the back, we do the star gazing. When you see the stars through the telescope, we have 11 feet and a 14 feet telescope. And it's 130 per person, 6 to 11 years old. Okay, ma'am. So I can. I'm under 12, and I want to pay for me and my guys with me. So how much will it be? My name is Word, and I have the change now. So thank you, ma'am. We get the tickets now. Inside. Okay, ma'am. So I'll show you how the place is. So you can see there's a Christmas tree that you can buy any drink you need. And there's also the cafe here. I don't know what these are. There's also some brownies. I think these are brownies. And then there's other things. So you can just come see these other pictures around here. I don't know what they're about. These are some pictures with people, that, um, animals, some um, rooms. So, there's a whole horse. I think this is a cattle, a bull. It's been a long day and we waited. We looked around Switzerland. We walked around. We rested. So now we've been waiting for the star glazing, gazing to be open because they said the best time to look at it is at the night because it's more clearer and you can see the stars. So now I'm done and I'm very excited to be here. So we're just gonna go in and we have to wait for the right time. There's 15 minutes left and then I'll show you the stars. So let's just go in. So, as you can see here is the telescope, it's ginormous, you look inside of it from this side here, and it's wonderful. So, I'm waiting here so they can show me how Saturn is. So, I'm waiting to see Saturn. So, now I can see, I'm trying to, Mars, it's shining bright like a like it has a fire in it. I can see Mars, it's shining bright. It's beautiful. All the planets are. I've never been seen a planet so close before, but just with my eye. Wow. It's shining with all different color rainbows on each side. It's like a sun with fire. Saturn is like a ball. Saturn is like a ball and it has it's like a ball in the middle and a circle around it leaving a gap uh, inside. So it's like a ball. Right now I can't see it so clear. That's why it looks like this. But from the telescope you'll see it very clear. So I'm just taking a picture right now.
for the next 15 years won't be as bright as it has been during September, October. The only reason during October, it was at one of its closest distances to the Earth. So only in 2035 again, Mars will be pretty bright. It's busy fainting now, but during October, it was one of the brightest objects in the night sky. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a look at Mars there, and then we can do the second picture. Sir, yeah. will we be able to see the other planets uh, also, sir? Unfortunately, like not. These are the ones that are visible now, so they are the ones that we can see. Okay, you can't sorry. see all the planets. Sometimes you can see some of them in one night, but at different times. Currently, Venus and Mercury is rising in the morning sky only. So, we won't be able to see that. This is the three that I could show, and that's why we had a look at them. Now we will be looking at different types of objects. So, I will explain the objects Sir? now. Yes. Um, what is there as a planet said today? Is there an also planet? The one that's shining? No, that here? was the first star that we look at. That is Canopus. Canopus. Yes. That was the first star that we saw. So, are you from South Africa, sir? I was born and bred in Sutherland. I am you? from Sutherland. You were born here, sir? Yes. Is, have you been here your whole life, sir? Not my whole life. I actually traveled. I'd been a soldier for some time. I came back to Sutherland. Um, I'm currently working for the observatory, but I'm working in the maintenance department. That's wonderful, sir. It's amazing. You want a soldier? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> so, sir, is there any other wonders of the world or beautiful place you've been so far? Uh, around the world, no. One of my favorite holiday destinations is Cape Town. So, you love Cape Town? Yeah. Cape Town is a beautiful Place. Yes, because we in the Karoo I like and I enjoy the sea. So, as you can see here, is the telescope is ginormous. You look inside of it from this side here, and it's wonderful, made, wonderfully made for you to set it to here. So, I really, really want all of you to come here because it's beautiful. It's the only place in all of South Africa that you can see the stars up close, the planets. That's what is so beautiful about it and wonderful. So I encourage you to come here. It's wonderful. It's amazing. So just come here with friends, family, wherever you have. Share. Don't forget to comment, like, and press the notification button. See you in my next video. Bye.